right guys welcome back as you can see behind me what we have here is an almost completed equipment shed and well we got a few openings we're going to fill in here today that's the goal if you uh, look over this way you guys can see we have had this stuff hit the ground so we had a bit of snow this past week and so that sort of turned up the fire under you know what for me to get this done i want to get this done by putting up the last door i do have that door built it's just inside the end section there i'm going to put that up today i'm also going to fill in this hole and if we duck in this way and excuse the mess here i'm also going to try to fill in that hole on the inside here you guys can see it's starting to get pretty dark which is a good thing because that means i'm fully enclosed now one thing you're going to have to keep in mind here i have got the boards up but i don't have the battens up and so that's going to be another day that's going to be another job i'm going to have to get some more trees on the ground get those milled up in order for that to happen if you're brand new here just keep this in mind as well this whole building has come from trees that I harvested and I milled. So uh, it takes a little bit of time in order to get projects like this finished, especially because I got to go out and select the tree, cut it to the ground, get it to the mill, mill it, then get it here and obviously get the building built. So that's what we're up against today. I'd say overall things look pretty good. You guys can see we've got five of the doors up. They're uh, quite nice, I'd say they're matching. And just as we're talking about the doors here, some of you guys last day in the comment mentioned that I put the X's in the wrong order, and I agree with you guys. Now, what that means is one of these X's is going to run continuous, meaning the board is one piece, and the other one, this X, is in two separate pieces. Now, in a perfect world, what you want is a door not to sag, and I'm in that mind frame as well. In order to prevent this door from, from sagging, I would have preferred to have this continuous piece running from the top right corner or top left when looking at it down to the bottom right post the thinking behind that is with one continuous board the weight of the door will be transferred from that top left corner down to the post and it'll prevent sagging that is a perfect world having it in that circumstance or in that situation obviously i forgot uh, i went ahead and did that for the rest of the doors you can see with this door this piece here is continuous it runs from that top right back down to the post to transfer the weight but I forgot with the first two now I was going to go and switch that up but then I thought to myself you know what maybe I'll just leave it and I'll see whether it actually does sag first if it does sag then obviously I'll fix it up and if it doesn't sag well then I know for certain my whole thinking was that this even though it's not a continuous piece this will still transfer the load onto this piece of wood which will then continue that load down onto this piece of wood. Because there's no gaps here, it's nice and tight, it's firmly in place, my thinking is maybe it'll act like a continuous piece, and so maybe I don't have to switch it. Anyways, I'll keep you guys up to date on that. If it sags, I'll tell you about it, we'll switch it up. So that's about it, one more thing. You guys will notice down here, I had to take a little notch out of the door, and I knew this coming into it, and the reason for that the reason for that is we've got this step here. And so in order for that door to basically hang off the post, I had to have that notch, notch cut to go around that step. So let's stop talking here. Let's get down to work. I've got that door in there. You guys can see on the ground, that door is built with green lumber. It is very, very fresh. It is very heavy. It's gonna be a bit of a job with one guy here to get that over there, over to here. But I'll get it done. I got five out of the six done. Once the six is in place, then I can put the hardware on. Although that is on order, so you're not going to see that today. But at least the door will be in place. Then we can put up the rest of the siding and go from there. Here we go. Lifted up the wrong side.
This should be fun. All right, the last door is on. Let's duck out and have a look at what they all look like here. And I gotta tell you, that was definitely a chore and not something I wanna do often. If I had someone handy to help me move that, I probably would, but today wasn't the day. Anyways, let's have a little look-see. I'd say that looks pretty sharp. We got five of them closed and then the sixth one. I like the pattern on this and you guys probably wonder why I have this pattern with the X's. It's because it matches my shop right over here. I like that design. And so when you walk down here, you'll see it nice and uniform. So overall, looks good to me. We're not quite buttoned up, as I mentioned, because we still have to add the siding on. But at the very least, when the doors are on, looks a little bit finished. And then we'll uh, add the hardware as soon as that arrives. Uh, in terms of the hardware, what I've got coming is I've got some... Uh, uh, I forget what they're called, barrel latches maybe, I don't know, but they slide into the floor and then I'll have one slide into the beam up along the top and the other door will attach to it. It just makes it so the wind can't blow it open. It can't force it inwards. 
and uh, definitely make it nice and rigid. So that's what we're up against. I'm going to now fire up the compressor. We're going to get out the air nailer. I don't have a ton of lumber left. In fact, uh, I might be short, so we'll see how far we get today. This is what I got left for siding. Some of these will go up right there, and in fact, we might start with that, and the rest will go on that far end. Fingers crossed we can finish her up today because I can tell you that snow is coming back, and it's probably coming back soon. Here we go. Not good. I didn't mean to put two there.
So you guys just saw me take a measurement off my previous board that I installed. I took a measurement from the long side of the angle down to the bottom of the board. That was 106 inches. What I'm doing now is I'm taking that long length measurement and I'm transferring over to my next board and I'm measuring out the short length measurement. Now that allows me to keep moving at the saw without having to go back and constantly put up one board measure, put up another board and measure. So the long length ends up being the short length of your next board. Now you gotta take into account, my boards are spaced out just a little bit. And so I add about a quarter of an inch in, in uh, length when I'm measuring uh, for my second board. So now that I've got this board, which will go up next, I can take the measurement on the long angle. Let's get a tape measure that actually works here. As I said, I can get a long measurement here. And I'm at about 107 and 3 eighths. And so that will become my short measurement on my next board. So you can sort of keep the process going. Well guys, it's a beautiful day. As you can see, I got all six of the doors up. It's been a long time coming, but there they are. Now I don't have any hardware on it, and I mean uh, locks or any of that nature. I'm gonna put those in place along with some chains so that if the door swings open with the wind, it doesn't blow open completely and rip off the hinges. But I got, the, I got all that stuff on order, as I mentioned. So as soon as it comes in, you'll see me put that up. But overall, I'd say it looks pretty good. Everything looks uniform and I'm very happy with it. Now, in terms of functionality, time will tell how it works with the snow. Uh, you know, if you have to make some changes as you go, you make those changes. But for the most part, I think my plan's coming together. Everything looks good. Last thing I gotta do is get those battens cut. So the battens are gonna go, obviously, uh, over top of the boards. And if we swing around to the left here, you guys will see we've got a whole bunch of boards on, but we got none of the battens, and that's what's going to cover up those gaps that I've got here. And get a good look down there you see all the battens that still have to go in and we swing right around you can see i'd say it looks pretty uniform looks pretty good but yeah we're gonna have a lot of battens to cut so i'm gonna be getting back out to the sawmill before long and we'll get that done and then we'll get them secured and uh some of you guys have asked me about the gaps that are in the boards here the reason i left a half decent gap is so that i can line up the fastener which will go through the batten without hitting the board. I gotta have the fastener go through the batten in between those boards and into the framing in behind. Uh, reason for that, all this wood is green. This wood is gonna shrink. If I put the fastener through the batten, through the board, that's gonna restrict the movement of the board as it dries, could get some cracking. You'll see more about that as I install the battens. But for the most part, take a look, take a look. That's a beautiful thing. All right, well, let's step inside and I'll show you exactly what it looks like inside now that we're fully enclosed. Obviously, I don't have a handle here yet, but that's gonna come with that hardware I've got on order. If we duck our way in here, you're gonna see it's pretty dark except for the fact I left the light on on my saw over there. What I'm gonna do inside here after I get the battens put up is I'm gonna put some lights up in here. I'm also gonna put up some outlets because if you guys can imagine, I've got equipment like these snow machines here. I've also got some go-karts or uh, golf carts to go in here. Got an ATV, all those things have electric start. They all have a battery. I like to keep those things on a battery tender so that the batteries don't die out on me. So I wanna have some electricity for those battery tenders and uh, keep everything up and running. Aside from that, I gotta probably clean up because we uh, duck our way over here. There is an awful lot of scrap here. Whoa. There's an awful lot of scrap here that I gotta clean up. There's some life jackets there, a boat cover and all kinds of uh, debris and whatnot. So I gotta get this place cleaned up too. Well, that's coming with time. I can only do so much in a day and I'd say this is a pretty good day. So overall, happy with the result. Hopefully you guys like it. If you have any uh, suggestions for me, any 
questions or comments, make sure you put it down below there. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Next time around, we'll be out of the sawmill. We'll cut up some of those battens. Hopefully I can get them up before we have the snow fly again because it's coming. That's all right. I got snow machines in there. I'll enjoy that as well. Guys, you all take care out there. Be well. Check out the playlist for this build and I'll see you guys all next time. Music